Dear students, uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about elements of visual perception. So basically, we are going to discuss about anatomy of human eye. So you may think why it is required in digital image processing. Students, once uh, we are able to understand how the human eye works, that concept can be used for better representation of the image. Hence, we are going to study this particular topic in this uh, video. So, if you look at uh, the anatomy of the eye, so basically it has uh, oval shape. Uh, if you look at the horizontal cross section of the human eye, it has uh, an average diameter of about 20 mm. So, mainly it consists of three important membranes. They are cornea and sclera, choroid and the retina. So cornea, it is uh, the tough and transparent tissue of the eye. It covers the outer surface of the eye. So mainly sclera, it provides safety to the human eye. Sclera, mainly it is meant for providing safety to the human eye. Then we have the second membrane which is called as choroid. So it simply lies just below the sclera. So mainly it contains of network of blood vessels by means of which it supplies nutrition to the human eye. So it contains a large network of blood vessels by means of which the nutrition is supplied to the human eye. So choroid coat is uh, heavily pigmented and hence uh, it also helps in reducing the amount of extreme light entering into the eye. Dear students, the choroid it also protects the human eye from extreme light. So depending on the amount of the light entering uh, into the eye, automatically it varies the central opening of the iris from about uh, 2 to 8 mm. So automatically, depending on the amount of the light uh, entering into the eye, the central opening of the iris is varied from 2 to 8 mm. So that is uh, the main purpose of this particular membrane called choroid. And after that, uh, we have retina. So Basically, retina it consists of a set of uh, light receptors. We have two classes of uh, light receptors called cones and rods. There are about 6 to 7 millions of cones which are mainly used uh, to form finer details of the image. They are very highly sensitive for color and brightness. Students, please uh, remember cones, uh, they are mainly used for identification of the color and also they are going to form uh, the finer details of the image. The very minute details of the image uh, is uh, formed by means of cones because these cones, they are connected to the individual nerves. Cone vision is also called as photo topic or bright light vision. Remember there exist about 6 to 7 million of cones uh, which are uh, highly sensitive to the color and brightness. They are going to form finer details of the image because they are connected to the individual nerves. Remember cone vision is also called as uh, phototopic or bright light vision. Then we have rods, so we have about 75 to 150 million of rods and uh, these rods they are responsible for forming the overall view of the image. It is not possible to obtain finer details of the image by means of rods because they are connected to the single nerve, they are uh, less sensitive to the light and brightness. Rod's vision is also called as scotopic or dim light vision. Remember, rods 
they are going to form overall view of the image not provide the finer details of the image then we have retina so retina is the innermost membrane of the eye which uh, lies inside the walls entire uh, posterior portion when the eye is properly focused light from an object outside the eye is imaged on the retina then we have lens okay the lens of the human eye is made up of concentric layers of fibrous cells the lens uh, it contains about 60 to 70 percent of the water and about uh, six percent of fiber it has more protein compared to other tissues of the eye so it absorbs uh, both infrared and ultraviolet uh, lights lights significantly by the eye uh, dear students the lens of the human eye is very flexible the shape of this lens is controlled by ciliary body muscles so depending on the object whether it is uh, far object or whether it is uh, near object automatically the shape of the lens is varied to focus on the distant object means if the object is at far distance automatically the lens is flattened by means of ciliary body muscles similarly if the object is very near the lens is thickened by means of ciliary body muscles the distance between the center of the lens and the retina is called focal length this length varies from 17 mm to 14 mm according to refract refractive power of lens so depending on whether the object is nearer or whether the object is at far distance automatically the lens shape is varied uh, here uh, in this slide we have shown the distribution of cones and uh, rods so if you look at the diagram the we have blind spot uh, the area where the cones and uh, rods are absent it is called as blind spot then next uh, you may observe the distribution of uh, receptors is randomly symmetric about the fovea then we have cones which are uh, most dense in the center part of retina rods they increase in density from the center out to 20 degree and uh, then they are going to decrease so this uh, entire picture it shows the distribution of cones and rods okay students uh, we'll discuss the same thing in the online class thank you